So one of the advantages of recording in Logic is you can always record to the selected track without having to arm the track or record enable the track first. But what if in the case of a software synth, you want to record to two different synth tracks at the same time? As you probably realize, record enabling multiple tracks in Logic can be a little finicky with voiceover at times. So today we're going to talk about a workaround that allows you to record to multiple tracks at the same time. What's going on voiceover warriors and keyboard ninjas, this is the Oreo Monster welcoming you back to Logic.Band. It's a website full of tips, tricks, and tutorials for blind Logic voiceover macOS and GarageBand users. If you haven't yet, type Logic.Band into your web browser, hit return, and when you land on the page, go ahead and sign up for the mailing list so you can get a free getting started with Logic course. All right, so we got free tracks going here in Logic. We got this piano track. We got this track to Mystic Vibes group. Mystic Vibes synth track. And track three studio violins one group. We got the studio violins. All right, there we go. So what if you want to play all of these as one instrument? Now, as I was saying, record enabling all three of these is a little tricky with Logic because what happens when you record enable a track, there's a flashing light and sometimes voiceover says it's enabled, sometimes it says it's not, and that's because it's catching the state of that flashing light when a track is record enabled. And as a result, it's hard sometimes to keep track of which track is record enabled. So what we can do here is we can put these tracks in a track stack. So you want to select each of the three tracks. Now we only have three tracks in this project, so we can just do command A to select them all. But now let's say that you have other tracks in this project, but all the tracks that you want to record enable at the same time are the last three tracks in the project. Well, you can go to the first track you want to select and do control shift and down arrow, and that will select everything from the current track you're on to the last track in the project. So that's the second way you can select your tracks as well. But let's say these are three tracks in the middle of a project and you want to select them all. You can do VO command return on the first track you want to select. Track one Steinway Grand Piano, group, edit to selection one item selected. VO down arrow to go to the next track or VO up arrow, whichever it is. Track two Mystic Vibes, group. Track two Mystic Vibes, selected, group, edit to selection two item selected. Press VO command return again to add that to the selection. Now VO up or down arrow to the next one. Track three Studio Violins one, group. And then press VO command return again. Track three studio violins one, selected, group, edit to selection three items selected. So there you go, we got all three of those tracks selected. So either of those three ways will select those three tracks. Once you have them selected, you can press command shift G to put them in a track stack. And the nice thing about this is track two Steinway, track one, track one, some five, group. You see we have some five here, and if I press option accent. It collapses that track stack. Track one, track one, some five, group. So now you see if I try to view up or down. Track one, some, track one, some five, group. It just says track one, some five. If I press option accent again. Track two, Steinway Grand Piano, group. I can get to each. Track three, Mystic Vibes, group. Track four, Studio Violins one, group. Of these tracks individually again. So let's go back to that some five track. Track three, track one, track one, some five, group. And let's rename this. I'm going to press shift return. Some five, content selected, edit text. Selection re Y, my, C, O, O, L, cool, S, Y, N, T, H. I just named that my cool synth. Track one, my cool synth, group. All right, so now when I have this track stack selected, I can record using the sounds of all three instruments at once. So the best part about this is, if you play and record on the track stack, the My Cool Synth track here, or whatever you named this, you will get all of the sounds inside the track stack being triggered at once. But you can still open up the track stack and go to one of the other sounds inside of track it. Track two Steinway Grand Piano, group. Let's say I go to the Steinway Grand Piano track. So see, I can still play just the piano, record just the piano track if I open the track stack and select just the piano or just the synth or just the strings. So you can still open a track stack and get to individual track controls to adjust the volume blends, to adjust the pan in, 
or to record just to a single instrument at any given point in time. That's it for this tutorial. Hope you found that useful and helpful. If you got any tips of your own that you'd love to share with the community, feel free to leave those in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe both to the YouTube channel and to the email list found at logic.band. That way you can get a free getting started with Logic course and I can keep you up to date on everything going on over at logic.band. If you'd like to help keep bringing tutorials like this to you, then visit logic.band slash support to make a one-time or ongoing donation. Also, if you'd love to go deeper on any of these topics, you can visit logic.band slash training to book yourself some one-on-one -on -one training. Links to all of these plus supplemental tutorials and blog posts can be found in the description below. And as always, until next time, happy recording.